Welcome to another AWS Unorganized. I'm your host, Philip, the Duggest. Chill up. Uh, there's been some uh, complications with my usual commentators lately. Uh, Sergeant Socialist has gone missing, and it appears that he didn't do a very good job of uh, assassinating Chill the Flying Philip after all. So, uh, yeah, it's going to be a bit of a complication. So here I am filling in. As we got Mr. Miyagi, Duncan Chino, Kingpin in his baseball uniform, the CBT Wizard, Ballin Joseph Stalin, and Big W. Morrissey Cass XL, or as I like to just call him Big Cass. This is a Thixent title chamber match. Why? Because Kingpin felt like defending. That's pretty much it. You just want excuse to defend the belt. So, uh, yeah, he's going to be in against uh, these freaks. Uh, Mr. Miyagi, who will be uh, making his debut. Don Cacino, who, uh... You know what, I'll explain more of them as they make their entrances. See, and after all, I mean, this is probably going to be a pretty quick match anyway, so I better utilize all the time. <laughs> And don't you do that skip ahead thing, because guess what? This is premiering live. It's premiering live, so you won't be able to tell. Yeah, Unless you're watching it at a later date when it's already out, then... Well, then that kind of ruins my plan. Eh. Wait, wait, first up is, uh, Big Cass. He's got a big ass... Uh, fresh off his, uh, victory against Daniel Bryan Danielson. Which was enough to get him this uh, title match here. Actually, had a pro out of all the uh, members of Big Gonads, he has arguably been the most successful. He was the only one to actually have a presence in the uh, 2K20 season after Dan Aykroyd took over, and like I said, he won his feud against uh, Daniel. Unlike with the rest of Big Gonads, that uh, I think they won a match in the. Uh, tag title tournament, but then, yeah, they unfortunately uh, didn't really get through. So yeah, I guess Big Cass has been kind of the uh, breakout member of this. He also had a match on AEW, but uh, for some reason they dropped him out. Weird choice on their end, but I... That'll be fair. Can you really be a wrestling company if you don't make questionable decisions? I mean, if I had a quarter for every questionable decision WWE's ever made, oh boy, I could fund this company a lot better. A lot better. And now here comes the debuting Mr. Miyagi, the king of the bon bonsai, trainer of a different Daniel, not Daniel Bryan Danielson, but rather Daniel Son. So I guess in a way he did train a Danielson, but a different kind of. Anyway, like I said, this is big debut. Some fresh faces here. So you know that's what this new season is all about. We got some new faces turning faces, some you might not have seen in a long time, you never know. And of course, some new opportunities. Granted, I'll be the first to say, not everyone from the uh, 2K20 season will be returning. You know, such as, like, Hillary Clinton. I mean, technically her and all technically won the... could have won the, could have won the tournament, but the problem is all uh, retired, so that yeah, didn't work out. For uh, that team. Still getting sued by Trump for that. And here we go. But uh, like I said though, you never know what new faces you'll see. And here's one that's getting a Thixen title opportunity again. He was in the first Thixen title match right here. The man known as Ballin Joseph Stalin. This man was the uh, most recent shit title champion. However, uh, the Communist Federation, after taking over suggested that it wasn't a fair match, so I was suggested to uh, vacate it, which I had to do because, uh, you know, there was a tank cannon pointed at me, so, uh, however, this match is not only a fix and title match, but is also a shit title match at the same time, because the first person eliminated from this chamber will be the new shit champion. It'll finally find a home tonight. No more vacated titles. Everybody's got... 
every belt's getting a home. Though, I mean, obviously we don't really... I mean, right now we don't really have vacant titles very often. When we do, it's either due to extraordinary circumstances or... Really, that's about it. I mean, we definitely don't have a amount of time to defend because... <laughs> I mean, if, if there was a time limit for, their, like, defending, then the Joker gang would have lost their title, like, seven months ago. He's kind of doing a single match that I've taken to dig at, Zach Linder. And here comes Dunkachino, who is now a solo act. For those of you who have not kept up with Twitter or the, uh, one of the recent Unorganized, the Fiend was... The Fiend and Dunkachino have been traded with each other, so the Fiend is now on Chaos while Dunkachino is now on Unlimited. Or not Dunkachino, Lucas Lee. Lucas Lee is on Unlimited, not Dunkachino. I'm sorry for my botch there. So yeah, Lucas Lee is now on Unlimited. The Fiend is now on Chaos, which means that uh, Dunkachino is now... He no longer is his tag team partner. He is alone now. But can this match prove to make him a single star? We'll have to see. He's also got an upgraded donut shirt now because uh, that is one thing that I unfortunately forgot to add in the 2K20. But here he is now. He's looking fresher. He's he's ready to get that Dunkachino man. I can't believe I kept this one-time joke up for another season. <laughs> will he find new sponsorship deals, or will Dunkachino try to prove himself? As we see next up coming is the. Thick Zent Champion, the man who broke the ring with Big Smoke to achieve this, it's none other than the number one Mets fan, the Kingpin. Let's go, baby. Look at that, winners. He's talking about the Mets in that. I'm trying to give him a slot machine instead, but you know, he's having a good time. He loves to be the Thick Zent Champion. He wants to prove that, yes, even though this is meant to be the Cruiserweight title, but Ghostface kind of, uh... Put some complications in that. Uh, speaking of Ghostface, new song coming soon. Keep an eye out for that. But uh, yeah, Kingpin is coming into the ring. He's ready to defend that title. Because you see, Chaos is the fighting champion's brand. Sure, Unlimited has the much better women's division, since I barely have a women's division. I guess Doug Dimmodome, since he's in charge now. But hey. We got good champions, though. We got the tag. We're the tag team brand, okay? Why am I plugging in Chaos Unorganized? Because Unorganized is Chaos's B show. And so here comes the last entrant to the chamber. The man, none other than the CBT Wizard, the Dark Match Champion. There is three. But, oh, excuse me. There are three champions going into this match. If the Wizard either wins or gets eliminated first, he could be a dual champion. And this man, like... It is unfortunate that he no longer has the... Ball Stretcher. You know, he's saying he doesn't need it. He says now he's ready to put all of his... He's ready to deliver the cock and ball pain to the competition now. He no longer has to rely on stretching his own balls for satisfaction. It doesn't do it anymore. He's too used to it. This is the Dark Match Champion, CBT Wizard. This man also, uh, one, he also had a, he had an okay run with the uh, lined up in the, uh, mixed tag tourney. Uh, he did defeat, uh, Samoa Joe. He did get the pin on Samoa Joe, uh, who... Absolutely annihilated his PP to uh, achieve it, but uh, hopefully they'll teach Samoa Joe to uh, stop interfering in our world title matches. Hear that, Joe? Stop interfering. In fact, the cock and ball torture was so painful for Joe they had to get back into surgery. His robotic arm stopped working, so now he has to get a new flesh arm and a new peep because he has to move the bionic parts from his arm to his crotch for that to work again. That is the innumerous explanation for why next time you see Joe, he won't have the robot arm. If Joe comes back. Will Joe come back? Maybe. You never know. Never know. As, oh, CBT Wizard, knee and kingpin, and the boss. The fact that he's able to lift the big man is honestly really impressive on 
on his end. Though I guess CBT Wizard does stand at a six feet nine inches, so uh, he does he does have a bit of that height strength with him. And now he's diving. I think ball first on the tumor. You can kind of botch that a bit as a. Uh... Anyway, next up here is Dunk Pacino. He's not he's no he's not Al anymore. He's Dunkle Pacino, as uh, Super Zack uh, Cucumber pointed out. A very humorous observation by our favorite Cucumber. More like Cucumber. <laughs> that joke took me like ten nights to think of. I'm, a, I'm ashamed of myself. Anyway, Dunk Pacino. I can't tell if that was an electric chair or a German, but... uh. He's a house on fire, man. Like I said, he really wants... To oh, God. Kingpin, what are you doing up there? Kingpin... Oh! Oh! <laughs> if that would have hit Dunkachino, that probably would have killed him. Luckily for him, Kingpin missed and almost broke the chamber. Kingpin, can you not try to destroy our sets for, like, five minutes? It's hard building everything together, man, okay? It's hard. I can get emotional. Anyway, here comes Balin Joseph Stalin. One member, a member of the uh, Communist Federation, which took over... Honestly, I'm not sure what they took over. They took over something, but like... I think it's like supposed to be rule over AWS, but then Doug Dimadum and Michael Television are the GMs, and I don't think they're... And the Communists work for Doug's Dimadome, so... Yeah, that match was kind of pointless. I guess it was for bragging rights or something. What the fuck, Dunkachuno? Spinning around everywhere as both Stalin and Dunk post together. Capitalism and communism coming together to beat up a baseball fan and a wizard that really likes punching penises. <laughs> Only on AWS can you get that kind of entertainment. As here comes Mr. Miyagi. Now, you're probably saying, is it morally questionable to have a man at his age in the AWS? To so that I say, look at that springboard roundhouse kick. That, that, that's all you need to know. That is all you need to see here. Anyways, King... Oh, God. Shades of Aang, the two-handed choke slam by Kingpin. You know, CBT was... Oh, my God. D Dunkachino briefly lifted up Kingpin before Wizard, like, got in the way. I don't know if, like, Wizard wanted to be the only man to lift him, but... Holy shit, Dunkachino. Such a small man, you got some incredible strength. Oh, Wizard's going for some. He fakes him out. Oh, he's going for it. Nope, he fakes him out again. He's thinking about it. I oh, faked him out a little too much. Wizard, you gotta be a little more decisive, buddy. This becomes our last entrant. The man who is seven feet tall, and you can't teach that. Big Cass. Man, I really need to bring back Enzo. I mean, there wouldn't be no you can't teach that without Enzo. So, I mean. Anyway, so Cass just straight up does the Bane move on a ball and Stalin and falls up with a broken leg drop, brother. And Pacino's working on CBT. Mr. Miyagi's working on Kingpin. Big Cass working on Stalin. So, we both big and small dudes in this uh, match. I mean, half of them would actually qualify for, like, the thick and cruiserweight division since, you know, they're actually tiny and less than 205 pounds. And then you have a 6'9 guy, a 7'0 guy, and then, obviously, that unit kingpin. It's Miss Miyagi with a D T the one two. It's... Whoa! Oh, boy, some, uh... Got my chest there. Man, if I didn't drink so much nuclear radiation, that probably would have killed me. Nice try, chill up the fly, fill up. Curses, not again. But I will get you someday, fill up. <laughs> Wait, am I the evil twin or is he the evil twin? This is a very confusing rivalry I have going on with chill up the flying fill up. You know what, chill up, how about this? How about instead of constantly trying to kill me, why don't you back it up in the ring? Are you challenging me, Philip? Are you actually challenging me? 
Oh, I am Chilp the Flying Philip. Philip, Philip the Flying Chilp, or Douglas Chilp, or Chilp the Flying Philip. Wait a minute, you should be Chilp the Douglas Chilp Philip now. And I'm not a Douglas. Oh, this rivalry just got a lot more. All right, Philip the Douglas Chilp versus Douglas the or Chilp the Fly Chilp the Douglas Philip. Uh, you don't even know what you're saying right now, do you, Philip? You me fight. Sure, why not? Uh, yeah, you know what? Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll accept your challenge. Winner is the true Chillip. Philip, man. Thank you. You know what I'm going for. Goodbye. Wait, no, come! Alright. I'm mean, taking alone is hard, man. So there's so much action I can call, man. I mean, I guess I'm used to being alone. Back in my radiation lab. All those nights just pouring random shit together and see what sticks. The birth of Larry. The only two times I've had intimacy was donating Kim's OnlyFans. That one time with that tribal chick which led to Wilson. And... Zoe! And even then, that only lasted like a few minutes. Sex lasted a few seconds, but the, the dating went on for a few minutes. That's something. That's something. It's cast the east side crot up and kicks out. Is that why I torture my co-commentators? I'm just lonely. I take out all my insecurities on those around me. The little ones that deal with my shenanigans. Maybe I should improve myself. Maybe then I wouldn't have a clone trying to kill me. But if I become too nice, then I become boring. I can't have that happen either. That would kill AWS if I was too nice. Man. It's really tough being me. Wait a minute. Stalin's prepping some. He's going for the ball and Stalin up. Aw, oh, Kingpin was so thick they got in the way of his finisher. We almost saw one of the greatest moves in all of wrestling at that very moment as CBT Wizard eliminates Dunkachino, making him the new shit champion. Sorry, Dunkachino, you had a good show at the end of the day. That was the stipulation. So now that we no longer have a vacant uh, shit champion. Oh, Stalin went for another Stalin elbow, but we couldn't quite get to him again because of Kingpin. Kingpin is just too large. He's too big. Also, you're probably wondering, why are we at the uh, Video Board Arena? There's no Commuvid 69 to get in our way anymore, so why are we worried about it? Honestly, this is just for our audience's own safety. Plus, WWE wasn't using the Thunderdome Arena, so I figured, hey, I could take it. I mean, <laughs> hopefully it won't end up like NXT or uh, Triple H beating me out. But then again, Triple H is no longer in charge of NXT, so I could take over the Black and Gold Arena again. Depends on if I'm feeling cheap. Or if I feel like hosting another gay tournament. Which actually I might, I might do, because that was actually a really fun tournament. Like, that was from a really good era. Was, oh, can we see the stall? No, oh, he, he, he changed his mind, his opponent was gone. Man, we're really building up to that ball and stall and elbow, man. Just really putting in some hype for it. You know what I mean? Just really, like, when it becomes, like, that right moment, that right time to finally bust out the ball and stall and elbow, that is going to be a moment to remember for the rest of our lives. Well, more of if he hits it, uh, knowing this game, but... Oh, Miss Young! He prepped himself, man! Who are you, random audience member? No, no! Fire! No, come on! Why is everyone keep leaving me? Man, I need somebody wacky. Somebody loony enough to keep up with my shenanigans, but... Who's... Who's crazy enough to deal with... My... My... full you know? Perhaps I could help, Jack! President Joe Biden, what are you doing here? Well, I heard, uh, I heard there's something about a Cracker Jacks, Jack, and uh, quite frankly, I figured, hey, man, can't go here, man. 
Joe, Joe, why are you talking like a Boomhauer from King of the Hill? Also, uh... I don't want to bring up that damn bring up Cracker Jacks, but then he might leave. Ah, screw it, I'll play with his emotions. Yeah, I, 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 I got Cracker Jacks for anybody who can finish commentating with me. Well, you know something there, uh... There's some odds of the time back when I was in uh, Vietnam. Well, Oh my god, Pink Pink got on me. We're guaranteeing a new champion. What an upset. Ball and stall and pins him. Hey, you interrupt my story there, Jay. Oh, sorry. It was a huge moment. Okay. Continue, King Pink. Continue. All right, Jack. Here's the deal. Uh, this reminds me of the time back when I was in Vietnam. See, I, I actually saw King Pin there. Uh, he, well, let me tell you, he was a very wacky individual, man. He's I say, hey, uh, hey, guys, I'm... Uh, I'm like I'm like the tank, you know. I, I, I just, uh, uh. No, somehow that was the most intelligent thing he said. Is wait a minute. He, ah, uh, he saw Bonza. No, oh, King CVT Wizard just punched Mr. Miyagi in the balls. No. I'm amazed he kicked out of that. Even Rai couldn't handle the ball punch, and he was at full HP when that happened. Oh, oh yeah, that, that reminds me. Uh, Kingpin, he'd always be, he was always a joker back in Vietnam. He was always like, hey, hey, what's the deal with all the, the, these, uh, you know, these, um, these trees? What is this, a jungle? And I was like, you listen here, Jack. This is, the, that, that's their trick, you. Those trees. Don't listen to the trees, man. Don't listen to them. There's a time where a tree punched me in the dick, Jack. I'm telling you. I, I, I mean it. It punched... Excuse me. It, it punched me in the dick. How did a tree punch you in the dick exactly, Mr. President? Well, I see. It's a funny story. It's, 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 it's like a normal... Wait a minute. Stop. Hang on, Biden. We're seeing the... Ball and stolen elbow! Ball and... Ooh! God, there is no way Mr. Miyagi's kicking out. And with the dirty pin, A, two. Oh, but the ref saw this foot was on the ropes. He had to break up the pin. Oh, man, Stalin, you shouldn't have played dirty. I think that ball and elbow would have been enough. Yeah, let me, let me tell you about the elbow drop, Jack. That is... That is... That is that, it's like that tendon between like your lower arm and your upper arm, but at the tip of it, it's uh, it's the weenus, which is uh, really funny because you know it rhymes with penis and it sounds like it. And uh, yeah. Didn't we already talk about the engine versus Peter Griffin? Well, I mean, you talked about the other commentators, but not with me. You know, mine. You actually bring up a really good point. Proud of you. You're proud of me? Thank you, Jack. I'm not supposed to respect anyone's giving me in some time. Kamala Harris, she's always trying to she's always trying to push me downstairs to become president or putting funny things in my food. Thankfully I forgot what death is. And and everybody's all like, hey Biden, why's the gas so high? Hey Biden, why's everything so expensive? Hey Biden, you can't, why you keep smelling children? Hey Biden, it's like, come on, man. I, I, I'm trying. I'm trying. I mean, I'm trying. I mean, I can't really judge your character, Biden, since I'm literally a nuclear radiation scientist whose creations are responsible for a whole lot of deaths, so... Like, if I, if I was trying to, like, suddenly be all morally righteous, like, Oh, my well, mother, you're a poopy doo-doo head, and, you know, I'm gonna get political out of nowhere. It's like, at the end of the day, I mean, I'm a nuclear radiation scientist who has, like, a lot of body count, so, like, it'd be completely hypocritical for me to try to insult you, you know? What the hell are you talking about? Speak to me. Like, what the hell are you talking about? I don't know, but, I mean, I'm just... This AWS season break, man, it's, it's kind of getting to me. I mean, yeah, we had the special with Doug, but it's just... I'm, I'm addicted to the show, man. I'm addicted. I need to, I need to be able to do other things in my life, but all my brain's just like, 
Well, but this ain't no guest match. Why would I book this match? This title match? Just... I'm an addict, man, you know? I'm an AWS addict. I'm a... I, I need the asses with style. I need it, by You know what I mean? You know, Jack? I think I get what you mean. It's like... It's like when you get a good whiff, you know? Of, like, the nearest individual. Just... You know what I mean? I thought you died for a second, not gonna lie, but, uh... Also, I think I just got completely lost in our conversation. I mean... Smash it in any minute, though. I mean, we're down to three people. Mr. Miyagi, CB2... BANZAI! What the hell was that? Well, it's the name of Mr. Miyagi's fish. He hits with another BANZAI! What a hell of a bonsai kick, but bone stall neck breaks neck breakers Miyagi before he can capitalize. I feel like these three are gonna be fighting for a while. Well, what makes you say that, Biden? Oh, I'm, just, I'm getting that vibe as the kids would say. You know, I mean that was a pretty uh pretty stoogy head, but at the end of the day, it's I mean you got a wizard that punches penises, you got a communist dictator, you got a Chinese guy that likes to kick things. Oh, Japanese, but... Hi! Hey, I'm going to shoot the pressure, man! Okay, I'm sorry. Yeah, that's what I thought. If you go on YouTube.com slash Freedom Tunes, you can see my new album, Shumna Shumna Pressure. Looking down on me. Looking down on you. You're an asshole. You know what I mean? Did we just plug our, like, random political cartoonist's YouTube? He, he doesn't even agree with you, man. Why do I have to agree with him in order to enjoy his content, huh? That was actually a really adult point you made there, Biden. But where's this intelligence coming from? Like, you're more cognitively there than usual. And this comes from me. I'm the most cognitively deranged man I know. And I'm me! Where you see, Jack? All this radiation nearby that you're keeping under that table? It's giving me a new perspective on them. The CBT wizard's eliminated! No! Not the CBT wizard! I know it's a tough moment, Jack, but at the end of the day, Cock and Ball Torture Wizard is a man that you gotta respect. He's a man that really defies generation. And the stolen boot! Oh dear. Is that is this gonna be it? There's no acne. Eight, two, deep ball and Joseph Stalin is the new thick zipped champion. That, that's crazy. Yeah, for real, man. Oh god, Michael! Biden, there is no Michael there. Oh. Well. Oh. I shit myself. Thanks for letting me know, Biden. Yeah, no problem, man. I'm gonna go out myself. Is this really, like, the humor this show's going to now? We're making poo-poo jokes about the president? Is this really where my life has gone now that Stalin is the thick of champion? I mean, credit for it's due. The belt does match its pants, but... Man. Has our show really gone this step? Wait a minute. Kingpin's making a call. Okay, you listen here, boy. It's Stalin. I know you cheated. Your, your, your communist boys, they, they talked shit in the match and it made me real angry. So I'm calling you out. Next stunt will die. I'm issuing my rematch clause in a baseball stadium match. Uh, sure, comrade. Why not? I want a chance to ball. Wow. A plug in for the next unorganized. Thank you. Thank you guys for saving my episode. This has been Philip the Fine Chilpin. Guys, guess what? Yes, sir. I forgot what I was going to say. Shoot.